Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, and welcome to another Pokemon X and Y video. Today's video is going to be all about Aegis Slash's stance change ability, because there are a lot of questions about how this ability exactly works, and what causes you to switch stances. Now before we get started in showing how exactly this all works, the thing you need to know first is that the stats on Aegis Slash change significantly in each form. So in shield form, you have increased defenses with base 150 defense one bit when base 150 special defense with base 50 attack and base 50 special attack. But when you switch over to blade form, those stats actually swap. So instead you have base 150 attack and special attack and then base 50 defense and special defense. Now the one important thing to also make note of is that the EVs apply to the stats that you actually got them in, meaning that like some people initially thought, the stats themselves actually switch they don't. So for example, if you are EV'd in physical attack and you um, switch forms to the blade form, your defense is not what your physical attack just was. Your attack is, or your defense is what your defense was with the EV. So your attack will still be boosted when you're in the blade form as well. So that's just something I need to clear up first because there was a bit of confusion on about that. But uh, let's just find a battle really quick. Um, here we go. And I will explain exactly in detail how this ability works. So we got a Lickitung, and that's actually kind of perfect because it does have a move um, called Refresh that will actually be helpful in demonstrating this. But anyways, the first thing to point out is that you always start the battle off in shield form, no matter what happens. Meaning that if you switched in a blade form and then switched out at another point in the battle while still in blade form, when you switch back in, you will be in shield form, which is actually fantastic because that means you will be able to take attacks really well every time you switch in because you'll always be coming in with your defensive stats. So when you're in shield form, any def any support move, aka any non-attacking move that you go for, will keep you in shield form. So for example, I'm going to go for a Toxic right here. It's going to Toxic the Lickitung, and I'm going to stay in shield form, as you see right there. Um, but he's going to go for Power Whip. It's not going to do much, obviously, because I do resist it, and I obviously um, am in shield form right now, so it's not going to do too much, and I wish my camera wasn't so blurry sometimes. It's very finicky. But anyways, um, now that he is in, or now that I have showed you that, as you stay or you stay in shield form while um, going for support moves like Toxic and things like that. The way you switch into the blade form is by going for an attacking move. So I'm just going to go for an Iron Head right here. Um, stance change, as you see, activates before you attack. That's important to make note of. So I'm going to go for the Iron Head. It's going to do a decent bit of damage to this Lickitung. Um, he's going to go for a move that I obviously can't be hit by. And now that I'm in blade form... The only way that I can get back into shield form is by going for a specific move that only Aegis Slash learns, I believe, called King's Shield, which is Aegis Slash's signature move. You get this by going to the move relearner and giving a heart scale to learn it. Um, but anyways, now that I am in um, blade form, every move that I go for is, uh, aside from King's Shield, will keep me in blade form. Meaning if I go for the Toxic right here again, as you see, I will stay in the blade form. Even though some people think that you switch out every time you go, or switch stances every time you go for a support move, that is not true. It's only specific to one move, which is King's Shield. So as you see, I went for Toxic right there and I am still in attack form, or blade form, whatever you want to call it. Last thing to show you is to get back into the shield form, you just go for King's Shield, and as right as it happens, um, as you see right there, I'm going to go into shield form, and then go for King's Shield, so now I have the increased defenses, and the great thing about it is that move has priority, so you can always switch into shield form before anyone else. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much an explanation, or before anyone can attack is what I meant to say. So yeah, that's pretty much an explanation um, on how this ability works. It's very cool and exciting. Um, I think it's very creative, and I think this Pokemon is really fun to use. Um, it's definitely a great addition to the Pokemon games, and I definitely think it's a very cool Pokemon, especially with a very cool ability. But anyways, or anyways, everybody, I combine those two words, that is it for this video. So as always, thank you for watching, take care, goodbye, and I will see you all next time.